So this is my complete collection. These are all of my perfumes. This is how I have them displayed at the moment. And we about to get in soon. Tata Tots, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can probably see by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be doing my long-awaited perfume collection video today. I do have a good number of perfumes to get through and I don't want this video to be super duper long. I am still going to try to talk a little bit about each one but without being super long, repetitive, or like boring you guys. Just a few things before we even get into the video. I will have the names and the keynotes to each of the fragrances appear on the screen as you see them. But if you'd like to look more into a certain fragrance I show you guys, then the links for them will be in the description box down below. But even after looking at the keynotes, the links, and everything else, if you still have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below. I will do my absolute best to respond to everyone. I'm super excited to be doing this video. I know y'all are probably excited too. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I post a video. Make sure you add me on my other socials. They'll be on the screen. They'll be in the intro and the description. And let's get right into the video. Now with us focusing on mostly luxury items in this video, I thought what better video other than this one than to show you guys my new Teddy Blake bag. Now if you guys have been with me for some time, you know that Teddy Blake is no stranger to me. I've worked with them multiple times before. They were kind enough to send me over yet another bag, which I am so grateful for. And I definitely want to show you guys what I got because I love it. It comes in a white and black box like this and it flaps up like so. On the inside, you do get a dust bag like this, which obviously screams luxury. And when you open it up, and on the inside of that is the bag itself. Isn't this such a beauty? Oh my goodness. This bag that I have here is the Ava Croco in black and silver and this is the 11 inch that I have. I believe this is like the medium size. I know it's definitely not the smallest but I'm not absolutely sure if it's the biggest. Of course the link to Teddy Blake and this bag in particular will be in the description box down below. Mm, and it got that new bag smell. Uh, I love this. All of Teddy Blake's bags are made in Italy if you guys didn't know. Their bags are made out of premium Italian leather. So just uh, like I don't want to be repetitive but like just screaming luxury all over. Even all the way down to the feet at the bottom. Like, talk about a luxury bag. It looks like this on the front and then you do also get the Teddy Blake print and then the zipper on the back for more storage. As you can see, it's not a huge bag, but on the inside, well, first you would just flip those up and then open it that way. So that's about how much space you get. You also do get a strap on the inside. So it's just a great bag. Once again, if you guys are interested in this bag or any other bag made by Teddy Blake, I will have the link in the description box down below so you guys can check them out. Highly recommend, you guys know I love Teddy Blake, especially like I said, if you've been keeping up with me for some time, you guys know the other Teddy Blake bags that I've showed you guys. And yeah, I'm super excited for this one. This is probably my favorite bag that I've ever gotten from them. The classic black, not too big, not too small, I love it. So make sure you check the links down below so you can get you one too and we can be twins. Okay, but seriously, without further do let's get into perfumes so in an attempt to make this video go as quickly as possible while still being informative and organized i did go ahead and separate each of my scents off into five different categories i'll be showing you guys first some of my everyday type of scents then i'll show you guys some of my fall slash winter scents some scents that i reach more for in the summer spring seasons some scents that i kind of like wear in the house or more of like a chill type of fragrance and then lastly i will show you guys some of my favorite date night or special occasion type of scents and once again everything will be linked in the description box down below so on this tray we have some of my everyday type of scents i have my chance chanel Utendre. and as you guys know if you've been keeping up with me this is like a scent that I live and die by. I love, love, love this scent. Definitely like the everyday scent of my collection. Of course, I wear a little bit of everything, but this is like my ultimate go-to. Highly, highly recommend. This is the EDP. I prefer this over the EDT because of course, it's a little more concentrated. And with this being a everyday type of scent for me, I want it to last as long as possible. I want it to linger, etc. Now coming up close right behind the Chanel is my Flower Bomb perfume. 
and to say I absolutely love this perfume is an understatement I've definitely been wearing it more often as you guys can see I put a pretty decent dent in it recently this is definitely one of the more classic type of scents a lot of people are familiar with this older generations younger generations it's a classic scent and a lot of people love it and if you've smelled it before you probably know why so sweet so girly so feminine just flower bombs that girl now next i have perfect by mark jacobs packaging looks a little something like this literally just perfect and when i say this smells perfect mm, this is absolutely jaw dropping like uh, it's just and it's so it's so subtle but still making enough of a statement to where people can pick up on your scent it's not too subtle to wear people don't know you have anything on as you guys probably see i haven't used it too much this is one of the newer ones in my collection not because i don't like it or anything definitely not because i don't like it but just because recently i've been reaching for some of my other fragrances more of my chanel's and my um just other ones now this one i'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with at this point and it is the valentino donna born in roma the bottle looks like this absolutely beautiful it has like the opaque textured type of glass bottle on it and the liquid is pink this is the edp oh my goodness i love this and this is like i don't i don't i don't know what my rationale behind this is but when i tell y'all i have been reaching for this a lot lately when I go to the gym uh, I love this Valentino but I've definitely been wearing it out other places like I feel like I wore this I'm pretty sure this is what I wore on Valentine's Day I'm pretty sure this is what I wore but I have worn it a few other times as you guys well no you probably can't see but I have been wearing it now next is one of my fragrances that I have had for a little while and I have worn a good bit this is the Misty Or Rose and Roses now I do want to make a note that I only have and I only wear the Rose and Roses Miss Dior. There are a few different types of it and the bottles look very similar. So I just want to make sure that that part is being distinguished. This is an EDT. I believe it only comes in an EDT, which doesn't bother me at all. And I actually like that because I feel like it adds to more of the, the airiness of it. And if you guys haven't been able to tell by now, I love florals. I love very sweet and feminine scents, but I do like to, you know, have a little bit of variety within that category. And what I like about the Miss Dior is that it's definitely a rosy scent. It's definitely a floral, well, rose floral, but, um, but this one is more airy than some of my other ones. A little bit more light and airier than maybe like my Chance or maybe like my, um, even Valentino is kind of rosy, kind of sorta. I have a lot of other rosy scents, but I don't want to go through them all right now. But this one to do it for me every time. And as you guys can see, like I said before, I put a pretty decent sized dent in it. I have been wearing it some. And I've had this for a little over a year now, so it definitely lasts even with it being an EDT. Next on the list is my Lou by Jimmy Choo. And this is actually another newer one in my collection. I got it maybe about three or four months ago now and i really haven't played around with it too much but i love 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 the scent this is the bottle of clothes i have a pretty big bottle of this this is the two fluid ounce bottle which is pretty decent and i talked about this before on my channel and i told you guys i don't know why it's not as hyped up as some of the other perfumes that get like super overhyped this one gets like zero hype i feel like i'm the only one that talks about this one if you're the type of person that like you're interested in luxury fragrances or just really finding a good perfume that can be like your signature but you don't want something that you feel like everybody has or everybody is up on may i suggest the lou by jimmy choo because a lot of people are not up on this and it smells absolutely amazing myself personally i don't care about nobody having the same perfume as me but if you kind of want something to yourself or at least feel like it's to yourself then the Lou by Jimmy Choo is a good one for you because a lot of people are not up on this. And last but not least for my everyday sense, you guys, well, if you've been keeping up with me, you know that, you know that, um, you know the whole thing that I went through with the Envy Me by Gucci. This is Envy Me by Gucci. This is the bottle here. And guys, this perfume has actually been discontinued. A lot of you know the backstory about this perfume and how i feel about it and why it's so special to me and all that other stuff y'all i've had this perfume for a long time now so long to the point where do y'all see that how it's changed color and stuff baby this thing expired on me obviously i don't wear this anymore but i hold on to the bottle for 
because I'm not letting it go ever. So that's about it for my everyday scents. Now I wanna show you guys some of my favorite fall slash winter scents. So my absolute favorite fall winter scent is my Libre by YSL. You guys probably guessed it. This is like one that I talk about a lot on my channel. As you guys can see, I put a pretty decent dent in it. I kind of stopped using it a lot because like I said, this is like a fall winter scent for me at least. This just smell like money. Like you just smell like money. This actually smell like something that could be like a unisex scent, but I mean, it's sold in, um, in women's fragrances, so. And get into this packaging, cause like, if this is an absolutely beautiful packaging, I don't know what it is. Personally, I think it does look better the bigger the bottle you get. I have the one fluid ounce, so I have a pretty small bottle of it, but I still love it and the smell is all the same. Now, another fall winter scent that I really like is the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is what the bottle is giving up close. As you guys can see, I really haven't used it too much. I've used it a few times back some months ago, of course. This is one of those fragrances and I have a few like this in my collection, but this is one of those fragrances that I like how it smells. I like how it smells on other people. I don't really care for how it smells on me. This, it doesn't stink or anything. It doesn't stink, period. And it doesn't stink on me. But I feel like it's one of those things that I'm just so used to my rosy and floral and fruity and feminine scents. Those are like my go-tos. And that's what I like the most on me. So something like Baccarat is, you know, it's, it doesn't fall into those categories at all. Now, another one of my fave fall winter scents is the Burberry Her. This is what it's giving close up. I do have the one fluid ounce bottle. I'm so mad because I definitely should have got a bigger bottle in this one because I love, love, love it. And not that I can't wear any of these scents when it's hot outside, but it's just a preference type of thing. The Burberry Her smells absolutely amazing. This is truly a 10 out of 10 perfume if you ask me. Now next up, I have Ebony Wood from Zara. I used to have a big bottle of this, but I'm actually gonna sell it. This is what it's given. I've talked about this before on my channel. It smells so good. Definitely a fall scent, definitely a winter scent. Yeah, this is not something that I reach for too often. So the rollerball is more than enough for me. Now next up we have Lazy Sunday Morning by Replica. This is another one that I really like a lot. And this one, while I still consider it a more colder weather type of scent, this one is more on the lighter side compared to some of the other ones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up getting a big bottle of this one. If I do, I don't see it being anytime soon because like I said, I got this one for Christmas and I've only used it a few times. Now next I have my Daisy by Marc Jacobs. As you guys can see, it's really not much left in here. It's just this little travel spray. And this is a perfume that I've had for so long, definitely at least back when I was in high school. Don't remember what year I got this. But yeah, Daisy smells really good. This is the Oh So Fresh. And like I said, I just have this small travel size of it. I don't have a big bottle of this. I have a different Daisy, but I'll show you guys that when I get to it. And lastly, for my fall winter scents, I have the FM Fabulous by Tom Ford. This is what it's giving close up. This is actually just the case of it, not the actual bottle. This is the spray bottle. I really haven't used it much. It smells really good, but this is another one of those scents that I like how it smells. I like it on other people, but for me, it's really not something that I will reach for constantly. And then as you guys can see here, these are some of my more spring, summer type of scents. I have a lot more of these to show you guys. So one that I actually haven't used much, but I'm super excited to wear more of in this warmer weather is the Bright Crystal by Versace. This is the EDT. Super airy, super light scent. Oh. Smells so good. This actually reminds me a lot of the Miss Dior. It's not exactly the same, but I definitely see some similarities between the two. This next one is Daisy Days by Marc Jacobs. I told you guys I had another Daisy. This is the Oh So Fresh Days one. And this is like super nostalgic to me because this was one of my main go-to fragrances last summer. So it reminds me of a lot of those days, but I definitely look forward to wearing it more this this whoa this summer coming up oh and just a note if you guys go out to buy this and you see it in like a different packaging don't be alarmed it should look similar it won't look the same because i do have the older packaging mine is a little bit old but um it looks similar but as long as it says daisy days on it you should be good that's the scent that's 
in here. Another one that I'm really looking forward to wearing more of is Springtime in a Park by Replica. That's Mason Margiela. Bottle looks like this. Super simplistic, super sleek packaging. Absolutely love it. This is another EDT and I feel like now that I'm really going through all of these, I definitely reach more for my EDTs in the warmer weather just because, like I said before, I, myself personally, I don't like to wear super heavy scents when it's hot outside. Now, I've actually been using up this one quite a bit. You guys can't tell because of the packaging, though. This is the Gucci Flora perfume. This is what it looks like. You guys have probably seen this before. A lot of people talk about this one. A lot of people have it. Love, love, love Gucci Flora. I feel like this is another staple, especially if you're into more of the floral scents. Now, speaking of floral, I feel like I keep saying floral, floral, floral so much. That is such a tongue twister and it's so repetitive. The next scent that I have for you guys is floral by jimmy choo this is what the bottle is looking like as you guys can see it is pretty much empty you might be able to pick up on the little bit that's left i literally have like about one more wear out of this one when i tell y'all this is another nostalgic scent to me because this was like all i wore springtime of last year not the summer but spring highly recommend this one too it's kind of getting a little hard to find i hope they're not discontinuing this one too but i haven't seen it anywhere so that's a little scary but love this one next up we have my Prada candy now if you don't know this perfume you don't know perfumes because everybody whether you like it or not everybody's aware of Prada candy this is what the bottle looks like super cute it says Prada and then candy at first like when I would see it I I imagined this super fruity scent that I probably wouldn't even like but when I smelled it I decided I like it because it's actually a little bit more faint than you might think. I do have a travel size of it that I've been using up so when I do wear my Prada candy I reach for this one just so I can get rid of this. Now next up I have Shine by Dolce & Gabbana. You guys know I've been wanting a lot of the newer collection Dolce & Gabbana scents and I did get my hands on the Shine. This is what the bottle looks like close up. Super pretty, super springtime. I definitely feel like it gives spring vibes and it definitely gives a spring scent in my opinion mm, i love this i haven't worn it much because i just recently got it it has like a small dent in it i'll have the keynotes and stuff up on the screen it's kind of hard to describe this one but it smells good and then last for this category we have another mesa margella this is beach walk and as you guys can see i haven't used it too too much maybe a little bit but not a lot this is something that i can foresee myself buying a bigger bottle of when i run out of my travel size this was also a gift from christmas it's actually really similar in my opinion to the daisy days not down to the t but i see some similarities in it and they both smell super duper good so next up i'm going to show you guys some of my more chill scents in the house scents now i want to make a note that these are not scents that i strictly wear in the house only i do wear them out sometimes but these are more of like the scents that are just on the more chill side. So this is the tray of those here. This is what it's giving. You guys probably can't see everything, but I'm going to show them individually. So first up, we have Tiffany Her. I believe that's what it's called. This is what the packaging is given. Super simplistic. Definitely the signature Tiffany look. And when I tell y'all this smells amazing, this is definitely a just got out the shower scent. This is definitely a... I want to smell good, but I just want to smell clean, not really like anything too drastic. This is a scent that I typically reach for after I just took a nice bubble bath or even if I just took a shower and I'm just about to be in the house. Sometimes I'll reach for this one. I have worn this out maybe like once, literally. As you guys can see, I haven't worn it too much at all but I definitely highly recommend it and it definitely would make a great everyday scent. Now this next scent, when I say the best i mean the best at least for my in the house sense this is newt by zara i also have a travel size of this one i believe this is a rollerball i haven't really used it because i have my big bottle both of these are found at zara this is the newt scent and they smell so good they are edps and they're actually not that crazy expensive especially for a bottle this big do y'all see how big this bottle is i don't know if you can really tell just by me showing you guys but this is a six fluid ounce bottle of perfume so that's like gigantic like i said i also have the rollerball of this one i don't think i really need the rollerball because this is so much product but it doesn't hurt to have the next scent i have is another scent from zara and this is the water lily tea dress but this is what the bottle is given this is a 1.35 fluid ounce this the water lily tea dress is actually in my eyes a dupe 
for the Tiffany, this Tiffany one. Yeah, they smell almost identical. Not exactly the same, but almost identical. Now, the next two scents I have to show you guys are both from a dossier. The first one that I want to show you guys is this floral pink pepper. This one, the floral pink pepper, is supposed to be like the Miss Dior Miss Cherry, which has been discontinued. I had never smelled the Miss Cherry before, but this smells really good. I actually got this from my mom. She had it at her house, and my mom is notorious for ordering perfumes and not wearing them or not liking them. So um, she didn't like this one, so she let me have it. I thought it smelled real good, so I took it home with me. And then the next one, I also got this from her, as crazy as it may sound, but this is the Oriental Cherry, and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Lost Cherry by Tom Ford is actually another scent that I like it, but I don't really care for it on me. Now this next scent, I honestly feel like Margiela should basically just sponsor me at this point because the amount of sales that I've driven to this scent just from wearing it and letting other people smell me and just smell it at my house and stuff girl i've sold them at least five bottles in the past few months at least anyways this is the selling day by mason margella and this smells absolutely amazing and this is another one of those just took a shower or even if i am going out i just want to smell fresh i want to smell clean i don't want to be super overwhelming with my scent or anything. The second to last scent I have to show you guys for this category is actually something that I recently just got my hands on. And this is the Beyond Romance by Ralph Lauren. Now this one is more on like the sweet side. It's definitely very sweet, very fruity-ish. I can't put my finger on it, but in my opinion, this smells like a more grown up version of some Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret that I used to have. I wish I could put my finger on which one it was. Cause I felt like, you ever like smell something and you feel like you've smelled that scent before? I feel like I used to have something like this from like Bath and Body Works or something. Now lastly in this category, this is actually something that I have never worn yet because I do like it, but I just haven't gotten around to wearing it yet. This is the Amazing Grace by Philosophy. This is a super tiny bottle. This is literally a half of a fluid ounce. And this was actually a free gift that I got from Ulta just for being a Diamond member. And I said I won't go spray none in this video, but oh my goodness, that smells good. I think I'm going to use this today just because I haven't worn it yet. I'm going to try to use this when I get out the shower today. Now, lastly, on this tray, I have some of my more special occasion slash date night type of scents. These are the ones that I rarely reach for unless it's one of those. The first fragrance I have to show you guys is this Givenchy Irresistible. This is what the packaging is given. Absolutely beautiful, super simplistic, super feminine. And the scent itself smells none other than what I just described. Definitely date night approved. You literally smell irresistible. I have seen it around and seen other people show it and wear it and stuff, but this is not anything that's like super duper popular. At least I don't think so. So for the girls that, you know, don't like to smell like other people, now the next date night approved proof scent I have for you guys is none other than Miss Carolina Herrera. This is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. This is the original formula. The bottle is in this infamous blue high heel. It is a little bit stronger, not too strong to where it's like you're gonna choke somebody, but like a little bit stronger than some of the other ones I showed you guys. And like I said, it has like a mysterious type of hint to it. So um, I thought this would be perfect for a date night and it smells amazing. And this is good, especially if you're really not into like the florals or the fruity scents like some of us may be. Yeah, this is a good one for that. But even if you are like myself, you still can't go wrong with this one because I love this one. Now this next one, I think a lot of people are up on and this is something I've talked about on my channel before. This is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I actually sprayed this and wore it yesterday and I was just so in love with how it smelled. Chanel, in my opinion, makes like some of the best fragrances. Now next on this list is another one that really isn't too popular. This is the fragrance right here. I can't fully pronounce the name of it because it is in French, but it's like the Tom Ford Mandarino. You guys can see it if you want to screenshot it or whatever Whew. it definitely has more of like an aquatic type of scent it doesn't smell fully like water or anything but it definitely smells a lot like that now these last two in my opinion are actually very similar scents first of the two is this my way by armani smells super duper good i feel like more people are getting up on this at least as of recently this literally like screams date night if you ask me this is one of those scents that if you wear this around 
your person girl they're gonna be all over you this smells oh my goodness and last but not least literally like my fave is the killian love don't be shy a ton of people are getting up on this within recent months maybe the last year i don't know but a ton of people are getting put up on this and a lot of people do have this now it's way more popular than it was way back when when i tell y'all this is like hands down the best I still wear it, don't get me wrong, but this is not something I'm throwing on just to run to the grocery store real quick. No, I'm saving this. So that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my whole perfume collection. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to leave me a comment down below and tell me which scents were your favorites, which ones did I maybe put you up on, what are some of your favorite scents, what are some you always get complimented on. Let's just kind of chat in the comments a little bit, put each other on, help each other out. Once again, all of the links for all of these fragrances will be in the description box down below as well as the Teddy Blake bag I showed you guys in the very beginning. Make sure you guys add me on my other socials. They'll be back on the screen. They'll be in the intro in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.